Now I think this is a knife that is guaranteed, guaranteed to polarize people, absolutely without question. And when I saw it, I knew I had to review this knife. I had to. And I had to do it in a way that I could get some opinions on it. Um, because every person of a certain type that I showed this knife to loved it. And every person of a different type I showed this to hated it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this new knife from Petrified Fish. All right, I cannot wait to show you guys this knife because of how I think you will feel about it. I cannot wait to see the comments that are gonna be generated by this knife. <laughs> this may be the most polarizing one that we will get probably all year. So let's go ahead and show you what I am talking about. How does that make you feel? Now, some of you are going to have very strong reactions to this, but it's important to understand who this was made for. It's why I specifically got it in pink. This was an attempt of Petrified Fish to make something specifically for a different group of people who are interested into, in a very different direction. And I have a lot of knives, okay? I have a lot of knives. Where, where's my knife case? So here's my knife case. So this is my knife collection, minus two that I just pulled out for this. Okay, I have some very, very nice knives. Yada, yada, yada. We know about the vault case and it's awesome. Anyway, the point is, is when I show my significant other and other people in my, you know, general vicinity, these knives are like, oh, that's cool, whatever. But when I show them this, they're like, ooh, that's really cool, very pretty, you know, and all that. I got different reactions. I got more intense reactions. They didn't just kind of glaze over. They immediately said, whoa, that's really cool. And that's exactly what I was looking for, and that's what I was curious about. That's why I ended up getting it. And before we get into the knife, let me paint a picture for you. Maybe this will make sense a little bit more when, you, when I paint you this picture. You go over to your local knife store or your website, sorry about the crickets, and you buy a $500 knife. And you didn't need another $500 knife. And you know, when you get home, you're going to have to explain yourself. Wouldn't it be great if you could soften that blow a little bit by saying, hey, you know, I got this thing, but I got something for you too. And so I think at $45... For a 14C28N with titanium pocket clip, a really nice finish. I think that is a really great, hey, I got one for you too kind of gift. So, very, very, very cool knife for that specific purpose. That's what I had in mind immediately. And it is a very nice knife. It's very, very sharp. It's three inches total blade length, so it comes in under most blade laws. And it has great action. So for that purpose, I think they got the right idea. I don't know if they perfectly nailed it. So I'm going to try to be as objective as I can. It's not about the looks. I'm going to be talking about the actual function of it for the individual I think it's designed for. Most people who get this knife, who maybe don't own a lot of knives, are going to probably just open it two-handed. So they're not going to have... You know, they're not going to benefit all that much from the front flipping action. And there's a second reason for that. But let me let me start with that. So you're going to open it front flip. And then you're going to move the, the lock over like this and close the knife. Mostly. If you're not familiar with knives, that's how most people close a knife. Now, as somebody who opens many, many knives, the front flipper is something I'll use. I'll use. But I have to say, of all the front flippers that I play with, this is probably one of the hardest varieties that I've used. The easiest one to flick open is something that comes to a point way past the pivot, way out here, because you basically are pushing just in one direction and it just flicks right open. This is super easy and if you have long nails or whatever else, it's very, very easy to manage. I noticed that even with this knife, I could actually reverse flick it no problem. But when it comes to the petrified fish, um, Nightingale, I cannot get my finger in there. Now, I'm not sure that's what it was designed for, but it seems like a missed opportunity. 
at least in that way, I could have been like, hey, but it e at least it, even if you ignore the coloration, you know, it's still a good knife. But yeah, they, they missed out on the fact that I, I can no longer deploy it reverse flick. And when you combine that with the more than slightly difficult front flipper design where you have to press down to flip over and engage with that traction, it's not the easiest thing in the world. And there's other designs as well. Like Petrified Fish makes another front flipper that I am personally in love with, and that is the Mini Beluga, which isn't the easiest front flipper. In fact, you see how like because of this, this projection, it's a little bit harder to get to the top, but still it's pushing in one direction. And another one from Kube, this is the top flipper with a full cut open, and this is very, very easy to use and can be front top flicked in multiple different ways. So all of those would have been better for the design. And then uh, talking about the lock, once again, I think that was the bad lock choice. If they were going to do a, a lock, like a knife specifically for people who, well, let's just say, let's say we're doing it for my wife, right? If we were doing this for my wife, what I would want for this knife to be, if I was gonna give it as a gift, is I would want a crossbar lock. Let me get my crossbar lock here and get a crossbar lock out. All right, so I would want something like this. And the reason is, is because then, number one, their hands are not moving in front of the blade. It has a very high curve of experience. So you'll get good either doing this and flicking it open. You'll get different levels of experience. I mean, obviously, you can open it two-handed, and easily close it two-handed, and that is no problem for anyone I've ever showed this knife. But as they get better, they will continue to find new ways to open it, you know, and so on. That's probably what I would have done, not a liner lock. Liner locks, I mean, if you've never seen one before, it doesn't seem intuitive to put your finger here and then close the knife, right? And it certainly doesn't feel intuitive to do this. Right, and keep your nail there so you don't cut yourself. Like the first time someone does that, right? Someone like my wife does that, and that blade comes, looks like it's coming slamming down. She, what's she gonna do? She's gonna pull her thumb out of there, right? You can immediately move it. So I think they have the right idea. I think that this is very much the extreme in the look realm, okay, of what they were trying to achieve. But, you know, they could kind of find a middle ground. I think it, it could be done. A lot of people I've talked to have found that small knives like the um, uh, Mini Banter um, have really been successful with women. I think that it's really good to try to continue to explore this front. I don't know if this fully did it. But I will say I'm glad that in the process of trying this, they at the very least gave you some great value with the titanium pocket clip, the 14C28 and blade steel, which has done very, very well, by the way, very sharp and finished nicely. So they did a good job. I just feel like the front flipper was a weird version of it. It's not my favorite. The lack of cutout here so I can actually do reverse flick is kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, that's really my downsides because I love the grip. The actual curved down grip really fits nicely in the hand. And the pocket clip is awesome. This is an awesome pocket clip. Not a good pocket clip. This is a great pocket clip. So really, really well done in that regard. I'm very curious. I cannot wait to see the comments when we talk about this knife. Uh, so please tell me down below. What do you think? Is this a knife you would buy for someone else? Is this a knife you would buy for yourself? What do you feel about it? Please tell me. I am cannot wait to hear what you guys say about this. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for stopping in and checking out this very polarizing uh, little knife. And uh, we'll talk again soon.